It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs. And it's coming up next. It is still summer in the Midwest and a pleasant summer day at that as we are set for football at GHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Justin Tucker all set, and we are set to see the cream of the crop in the AFC as we are underway here with the Ravens and the Chiefs. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Well, the Chiefs offense going to make their way out and at the helm. A now three-time Super Bowl MVP in his eighth season in the NFL. It's Patrick Mahomes. I think it's safe to say that at this point in his career, there's really nothing Mahomes hasn't accomplished by this time. Three Super Bowl rings, three Super Bowl MVPs, two league MVPs, a couple of all-pro nods, and a passing title. When you lay it all out, it doesn't even sound real, especially when you consider the fact he's not even 30 years old. Now he has a sight set on being the first quarterback to 3 P. If there's anyone who can do it, it's certainly him. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Throwing now is Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Well, that's certainly familiar. Kelsey making the catch and picking up a first down. And he continues to produce at a high level here in his 12th year in the NFL. He's topped 90 catches in each of the last six seasons. And barring something dramatic happening, there's a good chance he'll make it seven straight when it's all said and done. A little antsy on the left side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one. And let's face it, he is so amped up. Wanting to get a good get off on the snap. Jump too quickly. And it's straight. It's Pacheco. That one goes for eight yards. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. To throw, it's Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From the 35, here's second and three. They go play fake. Mahomes. He finds his man, Sky Moore. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. Mahomes now to throw. He'll drop this off to Pacheco. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. 
That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. And it's caught. And yeah, the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Mahomes to throw once more toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I'll guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Pacheco is into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. They got to love that. Nine-play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. the touchdown here's Butker on to kick it away now a crease here as he's past the 30 so here's the first drive for the Ravens and at the helm is the 2023 NFL most valuable player second such time he's won the award Lamar Jackson and he's coming off a season where he showed everyone that he was worth every single penny he was given. He now has two MVP trophies on his resume and was on the verge of adding a Lamar Hunt trophy to go with it. Unfortunately, things didn't work out in his favor, but make no mistake about it. He's truly one of the most electrifying players in the NFL. As long as he's the man under center, they'll always be in championship conversation. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at the 33-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Now, a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Charles already trailing by a touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. And they'll fake the jet sweep and run up the middle with Henry. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It goes as a loss of six. And now third down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. A 
A first down carry for Henry. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second down and six. Jackson options out left. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. Nice pickup, 10 yards and a first down on the keeper. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid game to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. Now second and three. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. Jackson firing quickly out wide for Bateman. Jackson to Bateman there, first down Ravens. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play and immediately got to the pass. Here's Jackson to throw. Open man, that's Henry. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. And now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Now second and nine. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. That went into the hands of Flowers. Two yards on the pickup there, third and seven now. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Here's third and seven. Play action. It's Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson hooking up with Mark Andrews. And the Ravens are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. Justin Tucker for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. 
So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field has popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Here's second and ten. Now Mahomes. Over the middle and complete to Moore. Five yards, now it's third and five. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that one caught by Rice. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and seven. From the gun, it's Mahomes. They're going to be caught here, left side, Moore. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Sky Moore, 45 yards. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Butker now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. Five plays there on that drive, and it was Sky Moore capping things off with a touchdown reception. For the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Oh, some strong running. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. To throw is Jackson. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. When the hitch route has run really well, that jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space, all you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. The tight end in motion right. 
Jackson. Throw right side is complete to Andrews, his tight end. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Jackson options out left. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. From the 33, here's a second and four. Now it's Jackson. Over the middle complete. That's Henry. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. They go play action now. Jackson, and this is going to be hauled in by the tight end Andrews. Touchdown! Lamar Jackson hooking up with Mark Andrews. And the Ravens are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Tucker now for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So that drive spanned five plays. And it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Oh, now how about this return? And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Now here's Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down.
In motion left goes a tight end. Throwing now is Mahomes. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. In motion right, one of the tight ends. Mahomes going to throw. Looking for Gray and finding him once again. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. From the 25, here's second and six. Mahomes now to throw. He'll drop this off to Pacheco. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 13-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. What a drive this has been, just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. On right, first and 10, here's Pacheco. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. They work now on second and nine. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. To throw, it's Mahomes. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Back to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. Butker's kick here is good, and they take a 17-14 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Lamar Jackson and the Raven offense heading out. He's got two touchdown passes on his first two drives, and he'll try again here on drive three. Throwing is Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. From the 29, here's the second and five. Jackson going to keep it running right. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 
He has enough for the first down of the keeper, a gain of six. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. Here's Jackson. That's complete left side to Bateman. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. A handoff running left, Henry. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Bagalore in motion left. Now Jackson. Throw caught by Flowers. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up second down. Jackson now. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Boy, that's a five-yard loss. Fourth down now. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing up fourth down. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, he got what he could there, just trying to move forward and, and gain a little bit of yardage and create some space. You know the pressure is going to be tough defensively. Second and nine. Here's Pacheco once again. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. On third down, here's Edwards Alaire. Oh, the ball is out. Oh, one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they're set up in a golden position here right around the 10-yard line. Well, that sure started out as a good example of what they call backed up or coming out on offense, meaning you're backed up close to your own goal line. Big-time emphasis on practicing that to try and create some room at no less to give the punter a chance to kick the ball away. It means take care of the ball, try and create some space. They were doing that, and the ball comes free. Yeah. 
So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. The drive will start with an option going left. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Well, he's had success running the football in this one, and that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. Jackson. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20 yard. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. But that's what they have to do more defensively. Not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face. Not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been caught him up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. They'll look to throw here. Flush to his under pressure again, and down he goes again. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. Tucker's kick is good, and that will tie things at 17-all. So the fumble recovery had him set up in ideal field position, but they can muster only three points out of it. Yeah, when you're able to force turnovers, especially when it results in field position like they had, you really want to make it hurt. Here, they take the field goal. That's definitely not what they were hoping for. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Casey's offense ready to take over. Now Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And wrangled down quickly just past the 40 at the 41. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. On the move to his left. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. They'll set up the screen to Pacheco. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Now it's second and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Rice. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 26. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it.
From the gun, it's Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Two yards to go, second down. Mahomes to throw once more. Over the middle here to Brown. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. From the third team now, they work on first and ten. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. So nothing separating these two teams as we head to the break all square. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard. And bulldozing his way through. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Raven offense set to start this third quarter. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. A quick pass out to Aguilar. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys... I think have running back in their background. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. In motion, Aguilar. To throw is Jackson. That one into the hands of Flowers. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now it's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. into the hands of Flowers over the middle. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. That time on the run pass option when he decided to throw it, 
Not a quick little drop off. He went downfield a bit. Reminiscent of a triple option quarterback in college because he faked it inside and instead of immediately throwing it out to the perimeter, stepped back in the pocket to find a target downfield. Nowhere to turn this time and he goes down. Sank back at the 29. Multiple players getting home there for an eight yard loss. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now it's Jackson. He fight And now a fumble. The ball's out. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You probably talk about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> There's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Tucker's kick is good. And with that, they take the lead here 20 to 17. Now they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense. And that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get back out there and get us the lead back. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Now here's Mahomes. And that's caught left side by the tight end Gray. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and that'll bring up second down. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but... Yeah. No yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. Now pass complete to Moore. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 42. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Over the middle complete. That's Brown. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. 
Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe try to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Behind the sticks here with a second and 15. Now it's Mahomes again. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Brown. And he gets it inside the ten to the nine. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. Throwing now is Mahomes. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs have retaken a third-quarter lead. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third-quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field. Butker on for the PAT. And that will make this a four-point game. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's Hollywood, Marquise Brown, who finishes it off with the touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Ravens offense and Lamar Jackson set to take over once again. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Second down in the yard. Jackson options out left. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Oh, he 
makes a tackle, and he's got an alley. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. Off the option, here's Henry. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. They'll run it again with Henry. And he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage, but that's about it. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Running left, it's Henry. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Here's second and three. Jackson will look to throw it. Check down here for Henry. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. In motion, Aguilar. Throwing is Jackson. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens have taken the lead here this third quarter. And that third counter there gives them the lead, and it's obvious they've needed everything that he's given them today. The three touchdowns, that's impressive, but without them, they're not winning this game. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And that one gives him a three-point lead. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Here comes Mr. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, leading out this offense. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good. But there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. 
and right now they they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check but he has found the end zone once but boy he can explode at any moment yeah, and when you hit that end zone once you want to find it again <laughs> don't you yes makes, you do you get, you, hungrier. you get greedy in a good way and they nearly get this all the way to midfield mark him down at the 49 and a nice gain of 21 yards what an intelligent play as he found open grass and uncovered quickly. A nice clutch play to move the chains. The defense, they've got to do a much better job of accounting for these shorter routes. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. Mahomes gonna throw. Open man right side is Rice. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Mahomes now to throw. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC been a very hotly contested game to this point just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter and again it's Mahomes and that is incomplete that was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the Brave. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. Second and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. This one is caught, it's Moore. He's gonna go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That'll put him close to 100 yards receiving. He's at 98, and he's got a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. Now Mahomes. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. From the 21, it's second and 10. Back to throw again. Throw left side, completion to Rice. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Here's Mahomes to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Chiefs answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. But plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown on the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, 
They had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that will make this a four-point game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all, and it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. From the 44-yard line, here's a second and eight. Jackson. Throw caught by Flowers. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring up third and two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. From midfield now, here's Jackson. Complete, it's Henry. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. He got out of bounds, that's a good thing, but still short of the first. And now, since this brings up fourth down, the defensive play call, grab your nerves, because now you don't want to be so amped up that you give them a first down by getting out of your lanes, but you also don't want to just lay back and let them have it easily. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. A new lease on life after the fourth down conversion. Here's first and ten. This time, Jackson will throw it. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. George Karloftis just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. sack they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. Breaks the tackle he's got room to run and he'll be brought down it looks like right at the 40. This has been an up and down back and forth type of a game hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails kind of settle things down a little bit. This offense so far on third down, they're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and four. 
They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. Now Jackson. Oh, no, he lost the football. Offensively lucky there, able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And that is how you do it, my friends. This will be spotted out of bounds inside the five-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And for the defense, this is a spot where you don't want to totally sell out to stop the run, but you do have a pretty good idea of what you're going to see. And that's good work right there to keep them in check on that first down carry. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. Oh, what a great job defensively to stack things up. They were committed to stopping the run. They knew it was coming. And now it looks like they should get the football back as they force an important three and out. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. And that's a 48-yard punt with a coverage holding him to three on the return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. They'll start out here with the option left. That's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone that's the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. That'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Early down stuff will put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Jackson. They set up the screen for Henry. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and 10. Now it's Jackson. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as 
I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. Here's second and a yard. Jackson to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. That means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Here's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. Well, they got the yardage they needed there, picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as to understand where they are in the field? Here's first down. Down Jackson. He dumps it off for Henry. Not good. They didn't move the football an inch and precious time ticking off the clock. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Jackson. Completes it to Aguilar. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Jackson. There's Flowers. He's got it. Touchdown, Ravens. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens have taken a fourth-quarter lead. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams oh, yeah. guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. That time, a nine-play drive, and it's capped off by the Baltimore score. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Here's first and ten. Mahomes. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle. Kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Mahomes. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts 
As he'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Here's Mahomes, finding Kelsey, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Final minute, one timeout remaining, first and ten. Mahomes to throw it. Over the middle complete. That's Rice. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. They'll come up first and ten here. Mahomes will throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they've got to go and get it right here, right now. Mahomes. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 25-yard line. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Run flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. Now this offense cannot stop the clock now. No timeouts remaining as they come up here first down. Mahomes. incomplete seven seconds remaining a couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime and because of that really not many places to throw the football if any and typically what would you want to do against that dime run the football you want to run the ball but you can't do it in this situation not nearly enough time on the clock you have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you the Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts that'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play So a big one coming now for Harrison Butker. This to potentially send us to overtime. And his kick is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. So overtime on the horizon, barring a wild finish here as the kick's away. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And the decision to bring it out, kind of a costly one, as he won't make it back to the 20.
They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. And we have free football over time. Here we go, my friend. And the way this game played out, this is exactly how it should end, going to overtime, because neither one got an advantage today. So it's the Ravens who won the toss. They'll get the football first here in overtime as the kick is away. And fighting down inside the 25. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 26. On play action, they'll throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well. And every now and then, they don't come down with the football. Here's second and 10. From the gun, Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Here's Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. They go back to that well. He's had a great game. Defensively, they haven't been able to stop him. Same thing here in overtime. And sometimes that goes to the play caller's ego because a lot of times you have so many different plays you want to call. But when you spot a matchup that's working for you or a player that has the hot hand, Keep giving it to them. That tells me you're mature as a play caller, and it's working for them in overtime. Again, Jackson. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Throwing is Jackson. A little short one there, caught by Likely. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because... He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll show the defense. A three-yard gain and enough for the first down. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take him the distance. But a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, oh, he's a nice luxury to have, isn't he? Jackson now. A little short one there, caught by Likely. Called a gain of three on the play, and it's second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. 
And they'll come up second and seven. Off the option, here's Henry. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 51 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. That run sure looked familiar and another first down picked up for Baltimore. And after a Hall of Fame caliber run in Tennessee, King Henry has made the move to Baltimore and he's hoping he can be the missing piece that finally gets the Ravens over the hall. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. And he'll run on the inside handoff. Fights off the defender, and down inside the 15 he goes. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Jackson firing quickly out wide for Bateman. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it. So after the penalty, now they need just a yard on second down. They go play action with Jackson. And yeah, this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Tucker now to add the point after. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So that one along 11-play drive. And finishing that drive off was the touchdown grab by Isaiah Likely. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And a nifty return there all the way across the 40. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Outright and brought in by Moore. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. 
That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. This is caught. It's Brown. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one good for 26 and a first down. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up with a first and 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Throwing now is Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Mahomes going to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. And again, it's Mahomes. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. He's padding his already great numbers here in overtime. More importantly, though, moving his guys downfield. And I think that's exactly what's going through his head right now. Moving them downfield, putting them in a position to win the game. The stats, that's for the fantasy guys. <laughs> I know they're enjoying that show. Now Mahomes. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. On that snap, he's the hero of his defense after the play he just made. A one-possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Mahomes now to throw. He'll check this one down at Pacheco. They'll wind up losing a couple yards here on the play. And now what we have here, a third and goal. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they used your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? S Sammy Sideline. You know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stake. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yep. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. He had three touchdowns already, but won't get a fourth here. And the Ravens come up big down at their own goal line. So it's a win here for the Ravens, and it was just too much Lamar Jackson. He really played well. Yeah, that was a master class in quarterback play, wasn't it? Five touchdown passes. You talk about the rapport he had with his receivers. It was like a conductor leading a symphony.